Okay, so hey guys and welcome back to another predictions video and in today's video I'm going to be predicting the Jonas versus Decare fight. If you're on the round here though and you haven't subscribed, please do so like the video if you do need like the video and let's get straight into it. So, going into this fight, Jonas is 12-2-1 with 8 KOs and Decare is 18-1 with 1 KO. This fight is for the IBF World Super Welterweight Belt in which Decare holds and the WBC and WBO Super Welterweight Belts in which Jonas holds. Jonas is coming off a big win via unanimous decision versus Burkholt, and Decare's last fight was a win via TKO in round 7 versus Lozano. Jonas's losses have come against Obenuf via TKO in round 4 versus, uh, in 2018 and Taylor via unanimous decision in 2021. Decare's uh, loss came via unanimous decision versus Shields in 2021. Also on this card is Smith versus Benjamin for the British Super Lightweight belt in which I think Smith will win by KO in round 7. It could be very much earlier. I've seen Smith, luckily, well, luckily for me, I've seen Smith fight live and in his last fight and he was very, very impressive and the power he holds in his punches can be a problem for anybody. And this is his first defence of the belt and, yeah, I believe he'll be able to win very, 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 uh, relatively convincingly. Uh, going back to the Jonas vs. Decare fight, Jonas is the favourite. Jonas is a fighter which in, she showed in her last fight, which is a big win for her, uh, that she will not stop coming forward and that she is very resilient. And that that showed as she, when she got the win. It was a huge win for a career-defining win, some would say. And now she is the favourite. And I think that Jonas will win via unanimous decision. I think the way that she fought against Burkle, it would be tough for anybody in the weight division to be able to beat her. And so she's definitely in the prime of her career, even though I believe she's 38. So even a little bit on the older side, but I still believe that she's in one of the best positions in her career. And then, it, I mean, if she wins against Decare, there's only really one more belt that she can go for in the super welterweight division and that's hold held by terry harper and obviously she is coming off a win and so but that's a, at a different weight class and so if she wants to come back that could be a huge fight terry harper versus jonas and or unless unless she wants to defend her new belt so which she might she might want to have to do but she might have to fight for that super welterweight belt because otherwise she might be forced to vacate it so we'll have to see what happens with her uh if not if she wants to go uh, down the weight division, then uh, McCaskill is there. Obviously, she's, she's now coming off a loss, but still, she's there as a good option. She's still the undisputed champion at welterweight. And if she wants to go up to middleweight, then Clarissa Shields is coming off a huge win versus Savannah Marshall, which either of them fights could be good Shields or Marshall against Jonas. And if she wants to go up that weight division, it could be a good test for Shields, as I mean, she's kind of beating a lot of people that could test her. Uh, but yeah, that is it for today's video. I hope you did enjoy the like video. If you didn't, you like the video, subscribe if you're new. And thanks for watching.